Welcome to Home Service Happy Hour, brought to you by Service Monster. And, and you kind of mentioned it with the huge, and like people didn't know it was on Saturday. Um, and that was always a challenge I felt like in past years, even when when I was like emceeing with Sid and we're up on stage, it's like, man, I feel like I got 8,000 things to tell these people and only half the people are in the room right now and nobody really knows where to go. Um, and it just seems, and it, trade shows aren't, uh, and conventions aren't, the only places this happens this is with employees this is with customers everything comes down to communication and setting really good expectations um but it's the amount of like hand holding that needs to happen to really execute on that and to your point like make it feel like a disney experience there's a hell of a lot that goes into it um and i think the the huge has struggled with that over the years. I think like Atlanta was the first year that this ownership group did it. And so they were learning a lot. They've gotten better and better and better every year. But I think the Gaylord makes it twice as challenging. It's so big. Nobody knows where to go. It, the communication is so hard. Cause like, where the hell do you put signs in a place like that? You don't even know where the people are going to be walking through coming from. And so like the venue makes yeah. it, unless you have an app that is just constantly, you need to be here right now. Right. This is where this is where the party's happening. Here's where you are. Here's how you get there. Like you need that level of holding somebody's hand to tell them where to be at what time, um, especially in a place that, that that's that big. Was it in that regard with the huge back back to the huge? Was that um, was that better this year of uh, like year three at the Gaylord? Do, were they able to get people <laughs> to where they needed to be or is it still just a huge pain? Um. It's just a huge fan. I'm not saying I know any of that. Like, they do a great job and it's a great team. And I'm not saying, but it, it, the Gaylord it presents all its own obstacles. It's, and it's so crazy. If you're new, I mean, it's, it's getting, communicating to people in a way that they're going to listen. Um, and it's hard because are we tapping into, are we listening to what they say from the stage? Are we listening to an email? Are you like, saying you weren't you- listening to me when I was the MC on that stage the last couple of years? You weren't listening? I, I was listening. Okay. You were. Just no um, else. But I want to relate this as you say it back to what every, like all of our audience, like, what business owners can do. Like you said, it's not just an event, it's everything. Mm-hmm. And in business, this like relates, especially I think to the onboarding experience of a new client. And I used to talk about this a lot and I don't anymore. And I wonder if people even watch ours or how I'm just reflecting on my own experience and how we're using ours. But I think every business should have a Disney World video. And you know, when you go on a ride at Disney, um, there's a video that plays. You stand in a room and there's a video that plays that pumps you up and tells you what to expect on the ride and completely sets the emotion and experience and anticipation. And there's so much psychology and science that says when you tell someone what to feel, that's what they're going to feel. Hey, Home Service Heroes, thank you guys so much for tuning into our Home Service Happy Hour content today. I sure hope you learned a little something, and I sure as heck hope that it was entertaining. If you did find it fun and entertaining, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel for more cool, fun, entertaining business content. And speaking of which, stay tuned. There's a little more here and a little more right here. Check it out. <laughs>